WD Electronics, Premium LED Solutions for Side-by-Sides, Polaris Expedition Street Legal Kit Install, Grill and Hood Removal. Remove the grill by turning the two highlighted locks and lifting the grill free. Next, pull down on the two highlighted rubber locks that were exposed by removing the grill. The hood can now be lifted free. Position the control module under the hood. Connect the power wire extension to the control module, red to red and black to black. Position the module under the hood. Wait to finalize mounting and connecting the control box to power until everything has been connected. Front end disassembly. Remove the tilt windshield lock. Remove the two plastic push pins at the top of the cover highlighted here. Next, remove the three bolts from the windshield lock. Once all of the fasteners have been removed, pull up to remove the cover. Remove the front dashboard bolts. Remove the five bolts running the length of the front of the dashboard. They are highlighted here. Remove the interior vents and clips. Open the glove compartment and remove the two plastic push pins, one on each side of the lock. Next, remove the four vent covers by carefully prying around the perimeter. Once the vent covers have been removed, remove the plastic push pin at the top of each opening. They are highlighted here.
Remove the door jam fasteners. Remove six fasteners from each door jam. There are three plastic push pins near each bottom hinge and two plastic push pins and one bolt at the top hinge. Remove the A-pillar covers and windshield pistons. Remove the two Torx bolts highlighted here on both sides. Also remove the tilt windshield piston mount on both sides. Remove the hidden side fasteners. There is one hidden plastic push pin on each side highlighted here. Disconnect the wiring for the tweeter speakers. Before you completely remove the dashboard, make sure to disconnect the wiring for each tweeter speaker. Remove the dashboard from the machine. Carefully remove the dashboard. It may be easier with two people. If the dashboard is not coming out easily, you are probably missing a fastener. Don't force it. Install the column mounted turn signal switch. Connect the bracket to the turn signal switch as shown here. Use the included screws. Locate the mounting point shown here on the underside of the steering column. Slide the U-shaped portion of the bracket over the mounting point and use the included bolt and nylon lock nut to secure it in place. Feed the turn signal switch connector through the grommet in the firewall. Connect the mating connectors on the turn signal switch and the extension from the main control module together. Install the cluster integrated turn signal indicator arrows. Locate the harness for your turn signal indicators and run the end with the two pins through the grommet on the firewall. Disconnect the gray plug from the back of your instrument cluster by depressing the locking tab on the bottom and pulling back. Remove the clear gray retainer from the front of the connector by depressing the white tabs on each side. Open the gray back of the connector by prying it apart. Remove the blue dummy pins in slots 6 and 7 in the back of the connector using a small pick.
insert the pins from the turn signal indicator harness into the slots 6 and 7. The black pin should go in slot number 6 and the red pin should go in slot number 7. Reassemble the connector in reverse order and reconnect it to the instrument cluster. Connect the 4-pin connector on the turn signal indicator harness to the mating connector on the control box. It should be the connector second from the right. Sequential front turn signal installation. Loosen the three headlight adjustment screws shown here until you have about a quarter inch gap on the bottom of the headlight. Once you have about a quarter of an inch gap, lift the headlight and insert the connector for the LED strip into the inside corner of the headlight. Push the groove on the back of the LED strip into the gap you created making sure to insert it evenly along the edge of the headlight. Tighten the three headlight adjustment screws back down evenly to secure the strip into place. Connect the connector on the LED itself to the mating connector on the harness. Do this on both sides. If the turn signals flash on the wrong side when tested, simply swap the ballast connected to each LED. Connect the 4-pin connector on the front turn signal harness to the mating connector on the control module. It should be the first one on the left. Once you have tested your front turn signals and they are flashing correctly, attach a piece of 3M adhesive tape included in the kit and secure the ballast down on each side.
Side panel removal. Driver's side hood panel. Remove the two bolts highlighted here on the driver's side hood panel. Remove the two plastic push pins shown here on the outside of each A pillar. Once all the fasteners have been removed, carefully pry the panel off. It is held in by several plastic clips. Expedition side panel. Remove the driver's side expedition panel by pressing the lock and pulling towards the front of the machine. Driver's rear door jam panel. Remove the six highlighted plastic pins on the driver's rear door jam panel. Once all of the fasteners have been removed, carefully remove the panel. Driver's front fender panel. Remove the seven highlighted plastic push pins and the three highlighted Torx bolts shown here. Dead pedal fasteners. Remove the two Torx bolts highlighted here on the right side of the dead pedal. Driver's side rocker panel. Remove the 12 fasteners highlighted here from the driver's side rocker panel.
Once all of the fasteners have been removed, carefully remove the driver's rocker panel. Run the long black cable from the control module to the rear of the machine. Starting under the hood, connect the long black cable to the mating connector on the control module. It will be the plug on the far right with the white locking retainer. Run the long black cable to the rear of the machine following the path shown here. Install the taillight adapter harness and connect it to the long black cable. Locate the connector for the rear taillights. It's located on the frame near the driver's side shock in front of the exhaust. Unplug the connector and slide it off of the lock on the frame. Connect the long black cable to the taillight adapter in your turn signal kit. Red to red, white to white, and black to black. Make sure that the rubber insulation on the bullet connectors is fully insulated. Once the taillight adapter has been connected to the long black cable, Insert it in line to the connector that we just unplugged for the factory taillights. Long black cable, finalized wiring. The finalized wiring for the long black cable is shown here.
install the horn and harness. Remove a switch blank from the desired location on your dash. Use a pry tool to carefully pry this panel up on the top edge. Install your horn rocker switch through the switch blank and pull it from the back. Feed the wire with the two pin connector and the wire with the spade connectors through a grommet on your firewall towards the control box. Connect the two pin connector on the horn harness to the mating connector on the control module. It should be the connector second from the left with the blue locking clip. Install the included bracket and bolt onto the horn. Remove a bolt under your hood and connect the other end of the horn bracket to it. The bolt we recommend is shown here. Once the horn is securely mounted, run the other wire with the red and black spade connectors to the horn. Connect the spade connectors. They can be connected in either direction. Install the license plate bracket and LED frame.
we recommend installing the license plate bracket to the drip tray underneath the tailgate on the driver's side. Hold the bracket in your desired location and use it as a template to mark your holes. Drill out the holes you marked and install the included bolts. Install the license plate bracket and secure it with the included nuts. Install your license plate into the LED frame, making sure to cut out a slot for the wire. This is easily achieved by using regular scissors. Secure the LED frame to the license plate bracket using the included hardware. Connect the license plate extension wire to the license plate frame, red to red and black to black. Make sure that the rubber insulation on the bullet connectors is fully connected. Connect the two pin connector on the license plate extension to the mating connector on the tail light adapter we installed. This will provide power to the license plate. Secure the wire following the factory wiring harness. Connect the control module to the pulse bar. Remove the dust cap on an open connection on your pulse bar. Connect the power extension wire from your main control module to the open connection on your pulse bar. Mounting the control box. Use four of the included 3M adhesive squares and mount them on the bottom of the control box. Peel off the other side and use them to affix the control box under the hood. Tidy up wiring and reassemble. Tidy up your wiring and reassemble. Installation complete.
Thanks for watching. For install related questions, visit our website at wdelectronics.com.